Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to Christmas Card Making Project 605. That's right, I thought I'd throw a little Christmas in July your way. And we're going to make a beautiful card using some dies that I've never used before. So that's going to be really cool. Everything I do use, I should put in a detailed list on my blog, so please be sure to check it out. And there's always lots more information on there as well as photos. So I'm just going to run through what we're going to use and then we'll make our gorgeous Christmas card. So the first thing that I'm going to use is the Anna Griffin Say It Anyways Christmas Stamps. Now this is for the insert and if you don't have these stamps you can easily substitute it. I'm using a stamp that says wishing you peace, love and joy this holiday season. It just works so well with what I'm doing. But as I say, please don't get strung up on, you have to use what I use. If you don't have these, substitute it with whatever you have in your stash. Next, I'm using the Anna Griffin Card Making Compendium. I'm using this shape here, the smaller one, and then the next one on. And again, this is just for the insert. So it's just for the sentiment of the insert and if you don't have them, substitute it with a different shape or just use the rectangles, it's still going to work. Then we're going to use the Christmas Angels and Wings set from Anna and this is a beautiful set, it's new to me and believe it or not, I've wanted this set since last year um, when it was in the UK and I've just got it now. So we're going to be using this ornate die here, which could be used for wings or it could be used as an ornate die. We're also going to be using this beautiful angel here. We're going to use both her ornate layer and the shadow layer. We're also going to be using this die, the ornate layer, and the shadow layer so kind of like all the dies are from this set and they're all going to layer up and we're going to make a beautiful beautiful christmas card i'm starting with a seven by five plain ivory card base i've already stamped the back using my anna griffin handmade by stamp and this basically is so that you can add your name and then when you give it to a person, they know who's made it for them. And then when they keep it, in years to come, they'll be able to check and they'll think, oh, Anne-Marie made this for me. Aren't I lucky? Well, I don't think anybody ever thinks that when I send a card, but you know what I mean. So at least they'll know who's made it. So I'm using my bone folder from the Anna Griffin tool collection just to make sure I've got some nice sharp creases along that edge so that when it stands up it's going to stand up nice and straight and proud now as always we're going to do the inside first so the inside is really simple i've taken a piece of ivory cardstock and then i have simply die cut one of the dies i'll show you the die that i've used i've die cut this die into just scrap card and then I've stenciled my ink through it so all I did was put the scrap piece that I die cut onto the card and then just inked and blended through the corners just to give a different effect and I think that looks quite good it's something a little bit different and it's going to match everything on the card I've got flat double sided tape on the back so that I can peel the back of that away and just pop that into the centre of the card. I cut the ivory layer at 6.8 by 4.8 inches so that it gives a nice border around the edge. Don't get strung up on sizes. Um, you know, if you make it so that it fits, that's great. It's just some people ask for measurements and some people don't. And I try and remember them. And um, if it helps, it helps type of thing. So, but don't get too hung up on the measurements. I've used the 
Anna Griffin Compendium set to die cut a piece of satin gold foil and ivory um, paper, cardstock. I've stamped using the Say It Anyways Christmas stamps. This is our message, our sentiment for the centre. So you see how they layer up perfectly from the compendium set. I've got flat tape on the back of both items and I'm just going to add them to the centre of our card. So that's the gold layer and then this is our stamped layer. Again, just flat tape on the back and I can pop that one over the previous layer and that is our insert complete. So we've got the sharpness of the gold that contrasts against the ivory and I just think gold and ivory work so well together. You could nearly put anything together if it's in gold and ivory and it's just going to work. It's just going to look really elegant. So that's the inside. Now we're going to go to the outside and build that up and create something absolutely beautiful. So you've just seen me use my bone folder again on that edge just to keep it nice and sharp. Now the first layer for the outside of our card is a layer of satin gold cardstock from Anna and I've cut it again to the 6.8 by 4.8 inches. I've got flat tape on the back and I haven't been frugal with this. I could have been but to be quite honest, I got carried away die cutting everything and layering it all up. And it was only afterwards I thought, you know what, I could have been really frugal with that layer and cut the centre out because nobody would have known. But I haven't. And, uh, you know, some people will be tapping my knuckles for that. But it doesn't matter, I can be frugal on the next one. So my next layer is again cut to a quarter, I'm saying a quarter of an inch. So this was cut to 4.6 by 6.6 .6 inches to give it the extra border around the edge from the previous layer. So this is plain ivory cardstock. I've got flat tape on the back and I've used three pearls and the three four millimeter pearls in each of the corners that's all just three and I'm just going to add it to the previous layer leaving that border around the edge like so and then press it down there we go so those are our first two layers our next layers are the ornate die cut from the Angel and Wings set. So it's this die. I've used the satin gold cardstock. And on the back, I've got 3D foam at the edge and then flat tape to the inner edge. And I'm going to simply position the ornate, we'll call them wings, ornate wings to either side of the card so I've die cut it twice and I just want to try and get them a little bit central and symmetrical I do like symmetrical so I think that's roughly about it so I can press them down so you can see how they go to the edge next I've taken the large die of, we'll call that a background because it's quite a large die. I've taken the shadow layer and I've die cut in gold foil cardstock, the actual full shadow layer. I've put it on 3D foam and I'm simply going to pop that through the centre of our card, like so, over the ornate wings. Press that down. There's my camera, me. There we go. I won't show you me. It's too early in the morning. So that's the shadow layer. Next, we can add 
our ornate layer that we've die cut. Now this is just from ivory cardstock. I've got 3D foam on the back and that's going to sit perfectly over the shadow layer just giving an outline. Now look how beautiful that looks already. Now I'm going to digress here. So we're making a Christmas card but can you imagine using that as a wedding invitation? Adding, you know, maybe you've got a cricket and you can cut invite out and you just put pop that on the front. How beautiful would that look? Nice big ivory bow and a big jewel. That would just look oh, so good. Well, it looks gorgeous anyway, so it's going to look gorgeous for our Christmas card. But I was just thinking then, I thought, oh, that just, that's wedding. And you could do it in any colour. So next, I have cut out the ornate wings again. Now I've got flat tape in the middle of the wings that I've cut out and I've just got a little bit of 3D foam at either side. And I am simply going to add these. Now I don't know whether to use them as wings or to use them as kind of a halo. I think we'll go with wings and we'll just add those to the centre roughly about there and press that down. Next I've cut out the little angel and this is the shadow layer of the angel. I've got flat tape on the back of her so I can peel the tape away and she is going to sit just over our previous layer. And if I pop her about there, there we go, press it down. So you can see how the ornate layer is just there, peeking out from behind her. Next we've got, I would say this is like her dress. So we've got the base of her, the shadow layer, and then we've got her ornate dress. So we've cut this out in ivory cardstock and this has got 3D foam on the back of it. So we can pop this over the previous layer like so, press it down. See how it's taken shape there? And all of a sudden it's like she's, she's there. Next I've got a sentiment and this is Merry Christmas and this is taken from the favourite Christmas um, sentiment stickers. On the back of it I've got the sticky piece in the middle and I've got two rows of 3D foam. I've got three rows of 3D foam, but one of each end. So I've got two lots of three, that's what I'm trying to say. And this sticker is going to go over the top of the angel. And that's why we've got the 3D foam at either side, because of the layers that she's got. We want this to sit over the top but sit flat at either side. I hope that makes sense. Because you sometimes have to think about your layers because you don't want anything dipping in the middle. So we can press that down and then I'm going to finish this card with two gold bows at either side on the ornate layer. And I can press those down like that. And that is our card finished and how beautiful is that it makes it look like the angel's got really enormous wings and it's just so pretty and elegant in the gold and the ivory the inside matches perfectly colour wise there's enough room for you to write your two and your front and maybe a little message that is definitely going to stand on a mantelpiece and it's just such a beautiful card. It's something a little bit different, but it's elegant. It's got everything that you need for Christmas, I think. And you know, it's never too early to start thinking about the big day. And I just hope that it's given you a little bit of light relief to see a little bit of Christmas. So please check my blog to see the extra photos and the other 604 projects that are on there plus all the rest 
it's just so great to be able to bring you such amazing projects and I'm so glad that you enjoy watching them. So I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.